Green, green, green. Green! Oh. Green. For as long as I can remember, my favorite color has always been green. I must have popped out of the womb with some night vision goggles or something because this has been a lifetime obsession of mine, literally from as early as I can remember. Don't. Woo! Another tablet giveaway! The amazing people over at Gammon have once again sent me an art tablet to test and review, which I then want to give away to one of you guys. I'll tell you a little about it before I let you know how this could become yours. This is the PD1320, a 13.3 inch drawing tablet with a fully laminated 1080p HD screen. Perfect for animation and illustration. The device has a generous working area, but is still lightweight and portable enough to take around with you. Slice. In the box, you get a leather case bracket, the pen along with a pen holder and replacement nibs, some cables and instructions, a smudge glove and cleaning cloth, and of course, the tablet itself. Ta-da! It's very comfortable to draw with the tablet and the pen creates super accurate lines. Not to mention, it's also completely batteryless, meaning you'll never have to charge it before use. With 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity and 60 degrees of tilt functionality, it really is a joy to draw with. Damn, that's some beautiful artwork right there, sir. The tablet is on sale right now, so check out the links in the description if you want to purchase one for yourself while they're discounted. If you want to take your chances on the giveaway, however, here's how to enter. Head over to any or all of the following. My Instagram post, my tweet, and or my TikTok about the giveaway. They all look like this. Give their accounts a follow and drop a comment on their Instagram and TikTok posts to submit two entries. On Twitter, give it a retweet and that's a third entry. The link to my socials are below and good luck. Big thanks to Gammon for giving me the opportunity to give back to you guys like this. Please also check out their links below as well. Damn. Green is known to be a soothing, relaxing and youthful colour. Supposedly, you are a practical and down-to-earth person with a love for nature. Hmm, then why do my plants keep dying, huh? Explain that one, punk! Shh, shush. Whilst doing some research for this video, I was typing in a question. And this was the top question. I don't get why people tell their kids that things will just be a phase. I knew full well that it's not a phase, mom. You don't understand. Dead me! I took my job mixing yellow and blue paint very seriously in kindergarten. It was my duty. I also remember my teacher reading the class a book where each page would talk about a different color. So you bet I was like, oh, can we see green eggs? Green is my favorite color. Please, 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 please. I don't think my teacher liked me very much. Even before that, my mom happened to give my brothers and I a $5 note to spend on whenever we next plan to go to a toy shop. Now a $5 note in Australian currency is a purpley pink, AKA my second favorite color. Let me know if you want a video on that too. So big brain little me was like, Hey mom, can I have a green note instead? No, the green note is $100. It was a nice try. Now don't even get me started on the rage I would endure if I wasn't the green piece, say in a board game of some sort. All hell would break loose. <sighs> what are you doing? I want to be green this time. Oh, well, give it piece. to me! The green is known to be a soothing, oh, relaxing, and youthful colour. I'm always green. Back off! This is mine! Stop! Leave me alone! Get off me! Stop hitting me! Ah! Green fun fact number one! Only 2% of the world have green eyes. And guess what? That doesn't include me. One thing that made me so devastated as a child is when my eldest brother first began school. He was the one who got to pick the sporting house colour for the rest of my family! And guess what he picked, huh? You're never gonna guess what he picked. The choices were out of green, blue, yellow, and red. He picked yellow? Excuse me, uh, 
I didn't agree to wearing this urine on my shirt every sports day. Okay, so to the people who actually love the color yellow, my bad. But the yellow house team also sucked because they never won any sports carnivals. Then again, green wasn't that great either. Anyway, green fun fact number two. Disneyland used a certain shade of green, which they refer to as go away green. Oh man. This shade is used throughout the park to camouflage things like construction buildings, fences, bins, etc. What a crazy illusion. Ah, whoa. Jess, what about all the different types of shades of green? Do you like all of them? All of them are acceptable. Except for this. It reminds me of... Without a doubt, I'm guaranteed to be that type of old lady that just lives amongst her favorite color. Like, come on, they are living the dream. Green fun fact number three. In the 1900s, green wallpaper was actually very toxic. Haha, <laughs> fun fact. Right? No. It contains things like arsenic and lead, and it is to believe that it supposedly caused Napoleon's death. And no, not to get confused with Neapolitan ice cream. That would be far more tragic. Oh! Now it's time for some honorable mentions to green characters that I loved as a child. And not gonna lie, still do. Let's go. Let's start off with Shrek. Look, is there much I need to say here? He is a god. Next, the green Teletubby Dipsy. Dipsy. He was definitely the first person to jump on that cow print trend 20 years ago. Creeper. Oh man. <laughs> Minty from G3 My Little Pony. She's iconic. I remember that was the first pony I ever got. And out of all places, I got it at Woolworths. A grocery store? That's also green. Thank you. Thank you very much. Out of Care Bears, you know it had to be Good Luck Bear and Wish Bear. I had toys of these too. Wish Bear would glow in the dark and Good Luck Bear would talk to you. Kind of creepy. Let's speed it up a little. The green M&M, Pascal, Mike Wazowski, Yoshi, Franklin, Buttercup, Kiff, Tinkerbell. <gasps> there are so many. But do you want to know what one is the worst? <laughs> that got me thinking... The thing that's on Good Luck Bears, um, uh, what do you call it? Stomach marking? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I guess they're called belly badges. Well, on his, it's a four-leaf clover, and it reminded me that I actually found one of those in my front yard once, so that's pretty rad. I think my mom slammed it in a dictionary over 10 years ago, so who knows if it exists now. I'll run and check real quick. BRB! Ah, excuse me. Does that mean you have heaps of green clothes? You better do. For both my year 10 and year 12 formals, AKA proms, etc., I actually wore green dresses, so that was pretty cool. We don't wanna talk about my identity crisis in year six. I see no green. Year 10 was a pale green, while year 12 was a foresty, bodily green shade. Green fun fact number four. Green is the second most common favorite color after blue. Again, not a fun fact. Green deserves better. Also, I know no one asked, but malachite is the best rock out there. They're minerals. So, um, yeah. Glad that's off my chest. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> now let's quickly go through some green foods. Let me know if you agree. Lettuce, yes. Broccoli, yes. Spinach leaves, yes. Peas, <laughs> grapes, yes. Capsicum, <laughs> beans, <laughs> spring onions, yes. Celery, <laughs> asparagus, <laughs> Brussels sprouts, <laughs> they are the worst, hands down. Do you want to know another reason why green is so great? It is the superior color that gives you the power to do this. <laughs> I know red and blue are also commonly used for this, but we say green screen for a reason. It's the best. Okay, anyway, how have I made it this far in the video and not mention nature properly? No, we aren't talking about this. <laughs> Nature is amazing. It comes in all shapes and sizes, and guess what? The majority of it is green. Green! Also, I love how people can shape shrubs into weird things. Like, what? How is that possible? Anyway, enjoy this quick vlog of some nature I filmed eight years ago. So I'm in the forest. I'm running. I'm running. And I'm going to pull from stairs. 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 I was so cringe as a kid. And now for the final green fun fact. Number five. The green light on traffic lights allow you to go. 
thanks, guys. That fact was crazy. I'll catch you all next time. Stay safe. For real though, I highly recommend adding some more green to your everyday life and if you want to see me do a video on my second favourite colour purple, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do.